What is urban density? Urban density refers to the way people and buildings interact. Whether you live in a growing town or a bustling megacity, density involves us all. Understanding urban density provides important insights into how cities function and speaks to the well-being and habits of its citizens. Allowing city governments to plan across diverse areas to create places for people to work, live and play and how to move those people between those activities through sustainable public transport systems. So, how does density impact on a viable public transport system? Higher concentrations of people are actually good for public transport. It leads to more people using the system, making it more financially viable. There are excellent examples of this throughout the world that include New York, Hong Kong, and Curitiba. What other points need to be considered? Land use mix is crucial. Linking people to their homes, offices, places of recreation and education, allowing them to come and go 24 hours a day, results in more people entering and exiting stations, making a financially sustainable public transport system that serves the people. Less parking equals more incentive. By removing the access vehicles have to parking around stations, driving becomes less attractive to people and the more likely they are to use public transport. The pedestrian is king. Lighting, shade, street crossing and underfoot conditions ensure that pedestrians experience a safe walking environment to their places of work, living and entertainment. By researching these core characteristics, the South African Cities Network has developed a 10-point framework to assist city governments and their stakeholders in assessing density that supports public transport. There are fixed aspects that don't change over the short term. Housing units per hectare, people per hectare, floor area ratio, coverage, and other land uses, which are the spaces provided for activities other than housing like parks, schools, restaurants, offices, shops and libraries, and the amount of parking bays per hectare. The dynamic aspects fluctuate throughout the day and include people occupancy, the flow of people in and out of the area, and vehicle occupancy, the flow of cars in and out of parking spaces. More qualitative aspects are building orientation and access, how the building interacts with the street and provides access for the pedestrians, and the quality of the public realm and pedestrian environment, the walking conditions for pedestrians to and from the station. In working towards building better cities for all, the 10-point framework can make a real difference to how our cities touch the lives of those who live in them. Being more informed about how these multiple dimensions of density come together under a single framework can help communities participate in city transformation processes, as well as how municipalities approach the planning and measurement of public transport supportive densification processes. To find out more, visit www.sacities.net.